10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 0. First motion. Oh, running. First motion. Vehicle is clear. LV0007 has cleared the pad and is on its way to space. Welcome back, folks, to Investor Diaries. Astra Space Stock successfully completed its first commercial orbital launch for the US Space Force on 19th of November. Its launch vehicle 0007, carrying a test payload, took off from the Pacific Spaceport Complex in Kodiak Island, Alaska, and it reached its precise orbit in less than 10 minutes. The launch makes Astra the latest among the small group of private US companies to reach orbit with a privately funded rocket joining SpaceX, Rocket Lab and Virgin Orbit. If you want to know more about Astra the company, its origins, its fundamentals, we did an extensive video on Astra and I'll leave a link to that in the description below where you can check it out. Does Astra deserve a place in your trading portfolio? Let's find out. Immediately after the successful launch, Chris Kemp, the CEO of Astra, tweeted, Astra just reached orbit, 7.61 km per second at a targeted 86 degree inclination at an altitude of 500 km. The team worked hard for this. We're just getting started, folks. Hashtag AD Astra. On the company's webcast, he said that this is an incredibly hard thing to do. The team's worked so hard for this for so many years and seeing iteration after iteration, failure after failure led to success. Everyone is just incredibly passionate. In fact, Elon Musk also tweeted about Astro's success and he tweeted, congrats, orbit is not easy. So the fact that the CEO of a competitor is commenting and complimenting you, that should say something. Kemp went on to say the company will share soon more details on its schedule for the next launch. Kemp also said that the LV0008 vehicle is expected to be integrated for the mission shortly. So this clearly indicates that the company is not taking a break or not resting after their accomplishments. The first successful launch of Astro Space rocket into the orbit is a huge word of confidence in the company's ability to create reliable rockets for commercial purposes. Astro Space aims to be a leader in the burgeoning market for launching small satellites into orbit above Earth. It's an area that several other companies are racing into, and notably SpaceX. Astro says that it's different from its competitors because it actually offers cost-effective, mass-produced, and easily transportable rockets. The key to Astra actually moving forward was it achieving the milestone of its first successful orbital test flight. So now that Astrospace has cleared this major hurdle, it can now focus on the ultimate goal of carrying payloads of commercial satellites into space, as well as funding the various contracts it has with the US military. The ability to move forward is really good news for the existing shareholders of Astro stock. The day it actually achieved commercial success, the stock price jumped as high as 42% in trading and that was accompanied with unusually high trading volume. Astra stock price has cooled down ever since. And as you would expect, there would be volatility in Astra for times to come. However, one thing is clear. The stock is clearly not running just on hope. It has proven what it takes to be a long-term winner. So Astra's approach to the launch industry fits a niche that is not yet fulfilled. It comes with a rapid turnaround and a high volume approach to manufacturing that it claims will be able to produce small payload rockets at prices that make it possible for even more companies to get their cargo to space on dedicated missions, rather than just relying on rideshare models on larger vehicles like SpaceX's Falcon 9 or paying a relatively high price for something like Rocket Lab's Electron. Although there are a lot of companies that want to go in space, but Astra is not directly a competitor to them because the business model is fundamentally different. Astra wants to send daily loads to space. So they want to mass produce and they want to have lighter loads. So this makes the space very interesting because 
Astra is trying to prove its own niche in this segment. So we've been receiving comments and requests for uh, an analysis on Astra versus Rocket Labs. So we'll spend a few minutes on, on just that analysis. So very quickly, what is Rocket Labs? On its website, they say that Rocket Labs is an end-to-end -end space company delivering reliable launch services, spacecraft, satellite components, and on-orbit management. And folks, just because we're doing this comparison or analysis, don't get us wrong, it, it doesn't mean that Rocket Labs is not a great company. It is a great company, and, and that's the reason we are taking airtime in this channel to talk about it. And this would be evidenced by some of the stats on Rocket Labs from their website. They've completed 21 launches, they've deployed 105 satellites, they have two photon satellites in orbit, and they have three launch pads for all these rocket launches. So in addition on that point, it kind of makes sense why someone might like Rocket Labs more because Rocket Labs has had 21 successful launches. And in fact, till a month back, Astra had zero. Having said that, we at Investor Diaries believe that Astra has much more upside over the course of the next few years as compared to Rocket Labs. And let's try to understand why. So Astra's target or goal is to go for daily rocket launches. Rocket Lab does not mention anything about daily launches as of yet. So the revenues generated would grow as launch frequency ramps up to daily by 2025. Just by this attribute, we feel that Astra will be able to make way more revenues as time passes by. We also have to look at the infrastructure behind the launch. So today, Rocket Labs has three launch pads. As far as Astra is concerned, it has a portable spaceport that only needs four shipping containers, five people, a concrete pad, a fence, and they're all set. What makes it interesting is that Astra can launch their rockets to anywhere in space from anywhere on the Earth, as long as they have a place to pour in the concrete. We feel that the portability of the launch space is a huge advantage in favor of Astra. There's also a lot of good backing for Astra. First, Elon Musk, although a competitor and has a competitor company called SpaceX, publicly praised Astra, which is commendable. Second, Bill Gates has been backing Astra for quite some time now. This shows the sentiment and the hype is not just due to a few people on the internet like us talking about it. One of the recent news is that there's been a lot of crackdown from the SEC on the SPAC mergers. And this crackdown was because of the fact that the SEC felt that a lot of these companies didn't have a lot to show. But now with Astra, having successfully launched into orbit once and having plans to do it frequently in the future means that there should not be any issue from the regulator standpoint. Additionally, Rocket Lab has a team that is very competent in what they do. There are several reasons why their team might be better than Astra's, but we're personally very impressed with the experience of the team members at Astra. Astra is trying to automate the production of these rockets so they can live up to the frequency of launching rockets every day. Astra's SVP of factory automation came from Tesla. And we've already spoken about Chris Kemp, who's the founder and CEO of Astra. He's got a very rich experience of having previously worked with NASA, and he was actually NASA's first chief technology officer. And like you said before, we're not saying Rocket Labs is not, not a good company at all. It is a great company, but to us, Astra just seems to have more upside. So Nidish, I think there's only one thing Astra needs to do. Go towards fulfilling its promise of daily launches from anywhere on Earth to anywhere on space. Exactly, Happy. They need to do this successfully and they need to do it consistently to, be, to become profitable and generate massive returns for existing shareholders. So folks, when we had done Astra for the first time at Investor Diaries, Astra did not have any successful launch. We believed in Astra then and we believe in Astra now. So we stick to a theory on going strong on Astra and we are still bullish on the stock. You have all our blessings to buy any reason. Any dip on Astra is a buying opportunity. Continue buying because this stock is going to the moon. And we are at a much better place than we were three months back because the company was trying and trying to go into space. Now that the company has gone into space once, I think I see the stock price going only higher and higher. That's it for today, folks. Please let us know what you think about this video or your comments. And until next time, Stay tuned and stay focused. Thank you.